So today I'm going to take you step by step on signing up for a Chime account. So as you can see here, we're going to be showing you step by step on screen exactly what you need to do. Now, in order to get to this front page, I'll actually have a link for you in the show notes down below to be able to get to this exact page. One, it does help support out the channel, but two, it gets you started up right away. And what we're going to do is see right over here where it's going to tell you to enter in your email address and then you can click on the get started. So we're going to do that and we're going to jump over to the next screen. All right. So from here, it's going to ask you for your first and last name. Make sure you put your legal first and last name when we're going through this process. And we're going to click on the next button once that gets highlighted. Now, next up, it's going to ask for your date of birth. Of course, keep in mind, you do have to be 18 years or older in order to open up a Chime spending account. And it is required, of course, through federal law to be able to put in this information. So make sure you put in your correct date of birth. So from right over here, you can see it's going to ask for your phone number so you can set up two factor authentication. This helps just give you a little extra protection. So just make sure you plug in your phone number and we'll click on next. And then from right over here, it's going to go ahead and ask for your home address. So make sure you put this in correctly because this is actually where they're going to send your Chime Visa debit card. And then next up, we're going to have our password. So make sure you create a very unique password to help protect you. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and click on the next button. So from right over here, it is going to ask for your social security number. Now this is actually required by federal law. So this is not just some random piece of information they need. Uh, you can see here, it does say federal regulations require it. So make sure you plug in your social security number and click on the next button. Now, next up, they're going to ask you a couple questions, like what your income is, what you do for work and how do you hear about them? So just go through, answer all those questions. And then we're going to go ahead and jump onto the next page. So next up right over here, it's going to have you go through and check off some boxes to make sure that you are agreeing with their policies and everything else. So just make sure you go through and read those properly. Once you do, just go ahead and check those boxes and you can go ahead and submit your application. And then just like that, it says, welcome to banking that has your back. It says, download the app to finish your account setup. So you can go ahead and click on download and have the app started to download directly onto your phone. So now that we've downloaded the app, we can see here on the home page at the very bottom, it says log in since we actually did already apply we can go ahead and plug in your email and password that you just recently set up. And we're going to go ahead and click on log in. Now it's going to go ahead and send us a verification code to the phone number that we set up earlier. So just make sure you go ahead and do that. Click on verification. And then it's going to go ahead and have you create a mobile password. So we're going to go ahead and type this in and confirm it and then move on to the next step. And from here, you can see right now we are going ahead and going through and having our account being created, loading up. It's going to show you that your debit card is on the way, but your digital version of the card is actually currently available for you to use. So if you have Apple Pay or Google Pay, you can actually have this stuff starting to work for you right away. Obviously, you kind of have to have money in there. So we can go ahead and click on got it. This is going to give you some ideas of direct deposits and everything else. If you're not interested in that, you can hit no thanks towards the bottom. And then right over here, you can see you can go ahead and add your money to a spend account. You can have it go from direct deposits. You could do it from another bank or you can use cash or a check. You can go ahead and do add later. And you can see right over here, currently they do have a promotion as of this recording where if you do a direct deposit with 200 plus dollars in the first 45 days, you actually get a $75 bonus. If you don't want to do that, you can click on not now. Now, I actually want you to click this next video right over here to actually learn how to deposit money into your Chime account. My name is Dennis and I'll see you in that next video.